everybody, this is Loretta Love Huff <laughs> and my client Damian Dedman, and we're out here at, where are we, Discovery Park. Yeah, so let's Gilbert. get out into the sun because this is a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So we're out here in Gilbert, and what's happening today? Um, today we're, we're at the Terminal Termin of Champions Tournament, and um, it's uh, held by Coast to Coast uh, Flat Football out here in Gilbert, Arizona. Great. Okay, so um, let's move a little bit more out this way. So um, how many people do you think are here? Um, I say there's around about eight, eight hundred to a thousand people. You know, really? Here. Wow! Yeah. And and today is the today. Yeah, it's it's just like the, just like a normal tournament. It's a it's a one day tournament. You know, so we're all right now. Everybody doing their, doing the, the pool play. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get started with this? Because to have eight hundred to a thousand people out here today, you know, it didn't start off that way. Right. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it started out that way just from uh, the, the just the pool play. You know, so all the kids come out to to. Uh, just you know, uh, play play their games, you know, and then uh, at the end of pool play, we we will uh, meet up in the in the, in the championship rounds, you know, and play each other for a single single elimination tournament. Okay, and then where is that going to be the championship? Um, it'll be here um, tonight. Oh really? Yeah, oh gosh! So they're gonna play two games today? Uh, yeah, we we'll, we'll, we're gonna play uh, at least four games. Okay. You know, and then after that, that's when we'll uh, we'll be playing into the semifinals and finals. Wow. You know, so. so what made you start this? Um. It was just one of those things that I always wanted to um, have like my own youth sports organization. Okay. You know, so and um, football is like one of my is one of my passions. You know, so I just wanted to uh, to do something you know for for the kids in, in in our community, and to allow them to to achieve greatness at a high level. Wow. And so so I actually didn't want to talk to you about that. So what is it? I'm gonna switch cameras here for a second here to capture okay. some of these kids coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is it that you think the kids um, gain by being in a flag football? They learn the one of the most important things is just to learn how to compete. You know, when you like when you get to the point in a, in a game where you feel like there's like you have anything left, but some way somehow you find that drive that deep down inside you just to make you go to the next play and you play that next play at 110 percent. Wow. <laughs> and and so why how, why did that become like an important thing for you to want to support that? Can I ask you like yeah. take your head off so we can see your eyes? Oh okay right, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just that I just know as a as a working adult, you know, there are some some days you know when you're at work and you just uh, you, you feel like you just can't can't go any any farther. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. you know people get on your nerves, you know, things like that. So um, you always for me I always learned to I, I revamp the you other know, to my childhood. You know, to when I remember, you know, it was fourth quarter and it was less than two minutes ago, and we had we had to come up with a play. You know, and it could be the same thing on like on a Thursday, around two o'clock. You know, in, in the afternoon at work. You know, you some way somehow you you have to finish your day strong. Yeah, you do. You know, so just bring just bring those, those real life um, tendencies. You know, and, and, um, but teach them to the kids at a young age. And so, how do you see them changing? I just want to say hello to the people who are joining us. Hi, mm -hmm. this is uh, Loretta Love Huff. So what is it? I can I accidentally tackle somebody in flag football without any repercussions? Can anybody do that? I mean, accidents <laughs> do happen, you know. But uh, of course, it's not accepted, you know. So, um, but yeah, for because you got referees out here, yeah, and got, I saw them, you know, throwing flags when I was here last time, right? Right. So yeah. They yeah. give penalties. Yeah, you give penalties and everything, you know. So and, and just make sure that the, that, the, that that the player know, you know, that that's not allowed. So back to the question, like, what made you want to do this for kids? So you wanted. Yeah, I wanted. Uh, I want like being attached to the to the NFL brand. You know, I wanted the kids to 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 play something at an elite level. You know, so to where they always have something uh, have something to chase. You know, so by by starting them at a, at a young age, as early as five years old, they, you know they out there. You know, playing. They have their their uh, their Cardinal jerseys on, their Chargers jerseys. You know, mm -hmm. um, they they they, they learning um, at such a young age. On you know the elite. You know, so like high performance, high how to be their best, how to not not give in to I don't wanna and I can't do it, and exactly. so having them get past all those obstacles, it would be really useful exactly. when they are adults, right, and they're working someplace. Correct. You know, and so and with the with the NFL, you know, teams, that's the highest level that that uh, a football player can can play at. Right. You know, so if they can just learn to be have that ingrained into their into their brains now, you know, at such a young young age, it'd be beneficial for them. And so, what do you think happens to the families, the parents, or the other kids in their families when some of the kids are here and they're in your events and they're getting you know more confidence about themselves and higher self-esteem and yeah. you know understanding how to work past their obstacles and the I don't want us. So yeah. what happens to the rest of the family unit when that's around? well yeah like like for me I get the opportunity to see um, strangers come together on my combine 
you know, to where people don't know each other at all. They're, it's the, 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 uh, the kids, you know, meeting each other for the first time. So I get to take a mental note of, of this group of uh, people, you know, come together for the first time. Then I get to see them at the, at the end of the season. And it never fails. At the end of every season, now they're like families. Wow. You know, so, and that's how our our, our uh, organization started, you know, with our club teams. You know, now we're like families and we travel, you know, pretty much, you know, uh, the west coast of the United States, you know, playing tournaments. And it's never, it's never an issue. You know, everybody can't wait until the next tournament, wow. you know, for us to go uh, participate in. And um, so it's really good to see, you know, strangers come together. And within five weeks, you know, they're like extended family members. Right. So you got a family <laughs> of 800 to 1,000 people out here. Right. Right. And so at the, is it going to be that many people like all day? Because you said you're playing all night and then tonight's a championship. Are there going to be more people here then? Yes, ma'am. There'll, there'll be more people, you wow. know, coming um, throughout the day because that's when, you know, uh, grandma, aunts, uncles, and everybody want to come, come see their, their, their loved ones play. Right. You know, so you let, they start rolling, you know, out of the bed this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you, um, you know, if you were talking to people, parents who are thinking about having their kids participate in some extracurricular activity, why flag football? Uh, flag football, it, it really teaches the, the fundamentals of the game, um, especially when you with the, when you have like a really good coach, um, where um, we believe that, you know, in a non-contact um, environment, the, those kids, you know, really get to understand the game itself without the, uh, the bodily harm, harm, you know, of them actually getting hurt. You know, so, and this, uh, what people really don't know is that um, you really can't teach toughness or coach it. You know, either mm. you have it or you don't. You know, so just by joining, you know, tackle, that doesn't mean all of a sudden your 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 kid's gonna get tough. You know, that has it, either he or she has it, or, or you know, or they don't. You know, so um, that's why I always believe that you know, let's try to keep this kids safe mm -hmm. as long as possible. You know, for me, I kept my uh, my my kids was in flat football from age five. I went and I have a 16-year-old, and once he became a freshman in high school, you know, the, uh, the coaches loved him, and they couldn't believe that he never played tackle football before. His hands and feet was, uh, was outstanding. So, ah, so you gotten his, he built up his skills. He built his, his, yeah, built his skills up, you know, and, and never had a broken bone. Mm -hmm. You know, um, his injuries was very limited, you know, to the most of a sprained ankle. Hmm. You know, so so it was very it was very beneficial, you right. know, for him just to stay out of that environment till his his body was uh, ready, for, was it, ready huh? for it. But he still got to learn the, the game and the sport and the ethics behind it and the values of it. Exactly. And team you know. uh, partnership and all that. Partnership. So um, I wanted to ask you another question. I totally forgot what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, so it had oh your event. So you've got another season starting, right? Yes, so let's talk about that for a little bit. Yeah, my uh, my league is on um, Playmakers um, NFL Flat Football, and we're out of uh, uh, Levine, Arizona. And my next season begins on April 2nd. Um, if, if you're interested, you can always go to my website, www.playmakersffl.com, and uh, you, you go ahead and sign up, and all, all new players are considered to be free agents. You know, so you, so you can sign up as a free agent, and we'll host a combine you know, for those uh, players to be um, um, placed onto a team, or drafted onto a team. Um, so that, like I said, that starts on April 2nd, and we'll play until the like, middle of May. <laughs> Excuse me, here I had a little spider crawling on my <laughs> <No> hands. <problem. laughs> um, so, so they can reach you at your website or on your Facebook page if they're here local in Arizona as well. Right, yeah, um, so there will be right. pictures and things like that posted onto our Facebook page also, uh, which is Blaze Space Makers FFL. Great. And so parents, how would they know like their kids would be good candidates for this? Well, like for the... Uh, like for the parents, you know, it's, it's always good for a, for a beginner, you know, to see if they even um, like the sport, you know. So I get a, get a lot of that, you know, it's, uh, the parents, you know, they're, they're, they always say, well, it's, it's my kids, you know, first time playing. I'm like, that's fine. We'll, we'll teach them everything, you know, <laughs> you know, and, and we'll go from there, you know. And then later, later in life, they, you know, the kid will find out, you know, if they if they enjoy the spot, enjoy the sport or not. You know, so um, is it, uh, it's always good to see those those, those beginner kids come out and Great. play. So I see somebody else has joined us. I just want to say hello. This is Loretta Love Huff, the business coach uh, and speaker. I help small business owners grow their businesses. Damien's actually a client of mine. He's got great ambitions to take this franchise that he's built and grow it across the country. So, you know, if you're new here, you know, say write new in the comments. Uh, if you're liking what he has to say, you know, tap on your screen and give us a few hearts. Show us that you appreciate uh, the work that he's doing because he's doing some really great work here in the uh, community. So if people are interested, um, so what would you tell, one more question, so what would you tell a parent who was thinking about 
different activities that their kids could be in, why they should be here. So I want to say before you answer that, I'll give you a second to think about it. I do periodically some substitute teaching in the school districts. And kids, you know, some of them want to be in school, many of them don't. Hi there, I wish I could read that. So thanks for joining us. Um, so, the, you know, when they're coming here, you would think that it's pretty much a uh, volunteer thing. So they want to be here. So they, mm -hmm. like I said, they don't always want to be in school, but I think the kids want to be here. And so I'm guessing that they may, you know, put more of themselves into it. They're having more fun while they're here. Right. What would you say? Um, yeah, the, the, and you hit it right, right on the nail. Um, the, the, the kids who want to be here, um, if they, they really benefit from leagues like 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 mine because we're like we're considered to be like a like a competitive league, you know, because we actually you know push uh, push the kids to to to, to play harder, hmm. you know. So uh, we bring those same elements, you know, as as uh, high school coaches, you know, for for tackle uh, football, you know. But of course, we're just keeping in the realm of a, of a non-contact sport. Okay. So the question was, I just remembered now. So what would you tell parents if they're thinking of all these different activities they could put their kids in? Why flag football? Flag football, it, it really, uh, it, it, it teaches them, because of the game is so fast, it teaches those kids, you know, to to, re, to uh, just respond, you know, with, with very little thinking, you know. So, and because of how the game is played, you know, uh, at a very high, 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 high pace, and then also in a non-contact environment, uh, the kids just pretty much just react, you know, based off of training and um, and practice, you know. So when you see those see those teams that they really have, like, really good chemistry with, with each other, you can tell that this team has been together for a while, and they had just practiced for you know uh, numerous hours, and in, in order for them to come out and perform on, on on these Saturday mornings. And it's such a good thing just to see that these kids, you know, these teams operate kind of like 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 robots, you know. So um, robots in a good way. Right? <laughs> robots in a good way. You <laughs> like know, they so. automatically know the right thing to do. Yeah, they, they, it's like about? they yeah they just know each other like like the, like the back of their hands. Okay. It, it's, it's amazing. So like the Borg, then if we could go back to was it a Star Trek? Yeah. Yes. Star Trek. <laughs> I forget who that was. I think it was Star Trek. Yeah. Great. So, anything else? Any other thoughts you want to leave, parents? Hi there, Louisa. Welcome. I would just say, you know, if you if you consider, you know, putting your your uh, your your child into um to any sport, you know, um, and you think that they're that they're you know you know want to play football, I say I always try out a um, an NFL flag league. You know, find the one that's that's close to your area, um, <laughs> like uh, the ones. The one, uh, like the one that I own, you know, any kid can um, can, can play anywhere they want So what age groups? To. What are age groups? And I, I noticed you've got girls in the flag football. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're yeah, not definitely. just on the cheerleaders, which you do have some of those too. We have some of those too. Uh, but you got girls playing. Oh yeah, you know, and and most of the time, you know, girls are the most coachable players. You know, <laughs> believe it or not, they and they turn out to be some some of the better players. You know, because. Um, for whatever reason, girls just listen, <laughs> and, and they and they don't talk back. You know, they don't argue with you, and and it, it's pretty cool. You know, right. so I have to say, my husband's a band director. I think I shared that with you, and he said the girls generally, no offense, guys, but you know they're the better drummers. They actually do practice. They uh -huh. listen. They do what he says. Yeah, yeah. So because in my league, so I, any I, future Cam Newtons? You got anybody on your team right now that you think could be a Cam Newton? I I know I do. You know, so uh, and, and a lot of them is out here playing. You know, right now. You wow. know. So um, it's amazing how you know how, how how good of a job he's actually doing and how he influence you know these kids on such such a young age, you know because um, I just see when I when I see these kids you know now now when they make they make they touchdowns you know and they want to do their you know their their dab or whatever you know it's I'm like man this guy right here you know he's really teaching these kids you know they're, they're, mm. they're like sponges you know so um, I, I, although we don't like really like to tolerate them uh, doing a lot of a sense of celebration, you know, but uh, just to see the power of the uh, these of the professional athletes, you know, on, on our youth, you know, so. So hi, Louisa. Appreciate it. I saw something else there, but then the comment went away, so I couldn't see what you said after that. But oh, okay. hi, Louisa. Appreciate you being here. So if you guys are loving what uh, Damien's talking about, if you're watching uh, on your phone, just tap on your screen a few times and give us some hearts. Here it is. Love I don't get them full all your footballs away don't let them get all your footballs away so you want to hold on to some of them but they, do they oh, get yeah. to take like some of them home the game balls like they do on tv we they want? it always straight it start out, start out like that you know but <laughs> you know we were like hey we, we, we have to keep these footballs you know we have to keep our flags you know so but hopefully one day you know that, that they'll sign a contract and then they'll be they can thanks so the much for the away. hearts <laughs> Okay, so we're going to wrap it up here. So just because I know some people have come in lately, can you remind people how to get in touch with you if they have some, um, uh, you know, people that they want to share this with or they have some kids that they're thinking about getting into some kind of an activity? How do they reach you again? 
Yeah, we're at, uh, the name of the league is um, Playmakers um, FFL, that stands for Flat Football League. You can reach us at on our website, um, playmakersffl.com. Uh, you can call me on my uh, toll free number, 855 YTH Flag. YTH, which is Youth Foot Flag. Youth Flag. You know, so 855 YTH FLAG. Okay. Um, you, you, can reach, you can reach us there, you know. Uh, contact me you know for football or you can contact our, our cheerleading um, director as well and who's that uh, her name is home Kelly Dibbs and how would they find Kelly when they called uh, 855 you okay. flat you know, uh, options. option two you okay. know and now and go straight straight to her great you know so uh, you look us up come by and come see us play sometime um, right now we're in between our seasons so we're just playing tournaments right now but uh, we like I said, our season begins on April 2nd, so now it's the time to go ahead and, um, and sign up. So you need to like, so they have to be like on the team by April 2nd. So when do they, when should they reach you if they want to be on the team next spring? This yeah, spring? Uh, you, you go ahead and register right now, you know, okay. and then uh, for everybody who register, we'll go ahead and we we'll, we we'll invite them out to the combine, and then that's when they get drafted onto a team on, on April the 2nd. Okay. Well, I'm sure you're going to have a really outstanding season. I'm just really inspired with the community that you've built and the Thank kids uh, that are growing and developing. So thanks so much for uh, talking with me today, and thanks oh, yeah. so much for viewing us. And you replay viewers, you know, feel like uh, sharing this, if this was really helpful. Again, this is not my usual topic, but <laughs> Damien's a, a great client, and I'm really excited to be working with him as he takes this uh, even uh, bigger. Yeah. All right. A lot of fun. Have fun, uh, scopers. Take care. Bye-bye.